Hey folks, this is... Oh, I can't that. <laughs> this is Vagrant, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West as we continue to journey uh, west. In the last video, we, we journeyed west, and now we're going to journey more west. Basically, I'm going to move my mic. It's in a really awkward position because there's a bloody camera. Because my face. My face is to blame for all the trials in my life, quite frankly. Ugh. There we go. Should be closer to my face. <laughs> Alright, off we go. It is a bloody freezing. Recording this first thing in the morning. Just woke up. Hello. The scorchers are going to be for a firefight. Do, 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 do. Bear with me. Bow, 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 bow. I'm really curious how Terra is affected by Overdraw. Ow. Like, I know Overdrawing the weapon makes it do more damage, but because I have a limited Overdraw facility, as in, I don't have many skills that boost it right now, it, um... There we go. Oh wow, that was worth loads. <laughs> okay, <laughs> because I don't have many things that boost overdraw right now. I um, I it isn't worth overdrawing. I mean, it's more value per arrow, sure, but the the damage difference is very small. But maybe I'm getting more tear when I overdraw or something. I don't know. Like it's always worth doing for your first hit, of course, because you've got all the time in the world. Anyways. Rockbird. Okay, well, let's, let's grab some stuff whilst we're in the air. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was much, much closer than it actually is. Grab the campfire at the very least. Oh, right. It's a lovely Saturday. I'm freezing cold. I left my window open all night, as I always do, because I like the cold. But it's getting a little chilly, and just my headset is freezing, so I put my headset on this morning, and it's like these cold hands clasping me around the head, which is sexy, but see my stash later. not first thing in the morning. I don't believe I... Oh, you didn't die. What? I don't believe I need a tremor tusk or anything, although it's very cool that it's standing there. No. I mean, this is a this is a hell of a location for a Trevor Tusk. It's perfect. I love that. It's funny. I was um. So we just oh, I need to see so badly. I'm resisting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We um. Uh, <laughs> we um just upgraded to a new. Basically, there's two bathrooms. There's the ensuite. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, this is a free bedroom house. And the master bedroom nobody uses at the moment, we're kind of using it for storage. And the ensuite's in there, and that's the only bathroom that worked, so we've been using that for a bathroom. And then there's a... Uh, meh. <laughs> and then of course there's the main bathroom, which we've been, you know, decorating, setting up, plumbing, doing all the bathroom stuff. Never back down, not gonna back down. And, um. No, oh, excuse me. Uh, what was I saying? Anyway, yes, yeah, so, so that that's a thing. And, um. Ah, oh, we've now moved into the main bathroom, it's much nicer, although I'm too tall for it. I can't fit my hand between my head and the shower head. <laughs> so it makes washing your hair quite annoying. I have to, like, squat. <laughs> I would say it's much nicer, but in the old bathroom, it had a habit of... Also, this is crazy looking. It had a habit of um, falling off the wall. Why is this so spooky? Is it because it's a... Oh, no, it's a settlement. Okay. I used to fall off the wall because it was crap. <laughs> and I think it was like three or four days ago, 
was just before we moved into the new bathroom. And um, <clears throat> I was facing away from the shower in the little old rubbish one. And the shower falls off the wall, but it did it really quietly. It wasn't like some big dramatic thing. It just kind of tilted forward off the wall. And the shower head land, lands on the top of my head. Now, I'm six foot two, so when it falls, it doesn't fall very far. So it, it kind of like softly placed itself against my head. And it felt like that scene from The Grudge or something. It felt like someone's hand had reached forward and gripped at the back of my head. In a mildly sensuous but still terrifying way. It was very disturbing. I feel like this is the... Whoa, what is that? Oh, interesting. I feel like this is um, like a, a new world. You know, we just broke into this new area. Right, let's see if it's a good area. First of all, do you have any... Nope, you've got rubbish gear. I just can't get excited about blues anymore, you know? Moved on. Hey, Jack. <laughs> now I'm sad about Brooklyn Nine Nine. <laughs> uh, we should always craft ammo here. I keep forgetting to do that. Much cheaper. I don't really need those. Why am I doing that? <clears throat> no idea. So, someone mentioned that I shouldn't be using tear precision arrows. I should use regular ones when I do my special ability thing. I was using the tear ones specifically because I thought braced shot used your... Let me just, let me check what braced shot does. Uh, infiltrator. Do, 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 do. do, do. Do, 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 do. Okay, where's Brace Shot when it's at home? <laughs> um. Power Shot. I, I, I'm sure it's the stealth ability. Oh, oh wait, that's all that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so it uses your current. Arrow type. Well, I mean, obviously it does. But what I want to know is, like, if I use that and I hit a tear thing, am I going to do a lot more tear damage? You know what I mean? Like, is that actually a thing? Yeah, sure. You could take another look. I don't want your goods. Your goods are rubbish. Outlander. Machine Strike? Oh, I feel like I've not played Machine Strike in bloody ages. I only stock the finest. Come back. <gasps> Machine <see>. Strike. <laughs> it was meant to be, folks. It was meant to be, and a quest, quite exactly. Please, can we talk? Can Ikota. I'm Ikota. Ikota. You're Aloy, right? I heard how you drove Regala from the Cool Root. I thought maybe you could help me and the village. In the forest to the west, our people have always found good salvage from shell walkers and clamor jaw piles, but now killer machines stalk the area. Claw striders, for certain. And I've heard rumors of something worse. In years past, I would have asked Marshal Chikata to, to help me clear out the threat, but he was killed at Baron Light. Now I'm alone, and there aren't enough seasoned soldiers here to help. What do you say? You up for a hunt? I just might be. <laughs> Strange. Chikata used to use those same words in the same way. The good omen, I suppose. All right, meet me at the edge of the forest, west of here. We'll hunt together. I'll be glad for the company. Okay. <clears throat> Seems like a good egg. A hunt to remember. Uh, if it's along the way, which it is, we'll do it. <clears throat> But first, Machine Strike. I'm very curious about Machine Strike, because I, I can see why it wouldn't be everyone's cup of tea, right? Like, I, I, I'm assuming there are some of you out there who skip the Machine Strike. And I wouldn't, you know, I, I'm, I'm not too deeply upset by that. I am, I mean, I'm hurt to my core, but other than that, it's fine. But, but I'm genuinely curious, do any of you skip it? 
Because I'm sure lots of you will pipe up saying, No, we love everything you do. We would never skip something you do. <laughs> but uh, I'd be curious to hear from people who do actually skip it. Oh, look, there's no oh, interesting board. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's just let's give it a go. Let's play. The lack of um, high spots is quite interesting. Now I'm going to try to claim them. I'm going to get the one on the left. I'm not going to get the one on the right. Is this two bristlebacks and a claw? Yeah. Hmm. It's hard to know where to go. <laughs> I'm done. What have they got? Is that a shell walker? It looks like a shell walker. Go ahead. Make my day. Shell snapper. Oh, is that the turtle? Oh, it's the turtle. Okay, it's no skill, but a three attack range. Three, yeah, three attack range and ten health. So it's a bit of a beast. It's also worth six points. Now, if you're going to go for a super high level. Um, it's annoying. I can't just. I can't just. I'd like to rotate, but I can't just rotate. If you're going to go for like a super high level machine, oh, that one's a buffer. Delete flasher. No, no. Oh no, that's so bad for me. That's so bad for me. Ow, the pain. The pain of it all. Alright, well you need to die, obviously. That machine's done. Then we need to get these two separate from each other, thank you very much. What should I do? If you're gonna have a high value machine, then having it be worth six points is the best amount of points, right? Because Um Your move. That way your opponent can kill it and not win the game. Right, I think it's time to get these guys out of the way. How about I do this? Your turn. My turn. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh no. He found me. That machine's useless. Uh, I'm in trouble here. I'm in trouble. What to do? What to do? I'm done. Are you saying your name or are you finished? What should I do? Meh. <sighs> oh, ah, lemons everywhere. All yours. I can't bait them in. <laughs> I'm scared, man. I'm scared. Mm, let me think. Eesh. Eesh. Well, I got destroyed. That's the game. You played well, Outlander. No, I didn't play well. I don't. I don't like the. I don't like my setup either. Um. Right. Let's let's pick something a little bit better. Close Rider's cool. Is Ravage? I don't really love Ravage. It's got a lot of health though. Honestly, like, grazes and stuff might be of value on this. Or lance horns. I can see lance horns being good. I'm going to put a couple of lance horns in. I have a sunwing. Sure. Let's give that a go. Let's get this game started. No, oh, excuse me. And the temptation is to go left, but with the water there, I feel more inhibited in some ways. Wait, which one's Hill? <laughs> have I made a mistake? Yeah, I may have made a mistake. Your move. My turn.
Go ahead. Make my day, right? You go up there. You swoop on forward. How about I do this? Oh, you're weak from the front. I gotta keep that in mind. All right, that's that's really positive for me right there. I can do some damage anyway. I can do loads of damage. Oh, baby, bam! Get swooped on. Hitting me where it hurts, huh? Ah, so close to glory. So close. Yes, glory. That's a lot of victory points you got there. That was really, really bad positioning on that part. All yours. Now we must move in for the kill. How about I do this? How about you do that? Look at where you're going, love. <laughs> Your move. <laughs> she has nowhere to escape. Although then, if I go over here, now do I? Ah, oh, let's assume it's fine. Hmm. Let me think. Ow. Okay, that's fine. And that's fine. I have enough points to make that kind of move. I'm done. I just need to kill one of them. <laughs> Attack me, damn you. Attack me. Oh, thanks. I'm just going to lose. Guess that's going off the board. Okay, that was weird. Victory! So the shell sniper, a shell walker, and a burrower. Here we go. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna just build in the same way, really. A shell walker gains plus one attack while defending, seemingly. Why am I using these lance swords? I thought these were all hills. <laughs> None of these are hills. That's a hill. So it's grassland forest, yeah. <clears throat> I see what I've done wrong in retrospect. My turn. I've, I've built a hill system in a level with no bloody hills. <laughs> it's just not the most intelligent thing I've ever done. I mean, I'm going to stick one on the hill, I suppose. I'm not attacking that while it's on, up there. Can you move? Thank you, buddy. That your seems turn. very silly on your part, but I'll take it. And then I want to try to defend it if I can. How about I do this? Okay. All yours. Once again, I want to bait them forward. What you do? Ow. Whoa, whoa! All right, all right, all right. No need. Ah, no. And it's gone. Eesh! Was that my sunwing? Oh, it was my sunwing. Pain. And how's that not kill? That machine's useless now. <sighs> oh, this lancehorn is in a lot of trouble. <laughs> so am I. I. Guess that's going off the board. Yeah, I don't, I don't love anything about my positioning here. Mm. I don't, I also need to get rid of these lancelots. That was a mistake on my part. Oh, come on, man. Come on, no, stop, <laughs> stop. Go ahead. My turn. I'm done. The problem is that's got like a three attack range, so it's hard to. I don't know. How about I? I'm in trouble this round. I know that. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> oh no, I am dead. I win. You didn't okay. make it easy though. And I made it pretty easy. My board was not set up for that at all. It was stupid on my part. Why is why are these all separate? That bugs me to my core. Also, how do I delete a set? Oh, that's how. I had to make a new set. 
Uh, right, so what is actually good in this? Grassland? Grazers, um, grazers might honestly be, be worth it. Or Lancehorns. Lancehorns are the ones I wanted, not Fanghorns. Yeah? No, hill and mountain, both bad. <laughs> Grassland or forest are the ones I want. Um, I don't really get the point in that, if I'm honest. I like the wide more. I think the wide more is worth using. I really like scrounge, uh, not scroungers. I quite like scrappers in general. What I really want is more units with a three attack range. Something I lack in general. I've got the Sky Drifter, but that's about it. Um, okay, let's try that. You and me, let's go. Let's go. What should I do? I don't know what you should do. I'm not your mum. Your but that shell walker has crazy defense. I've really only just noticed that. Oh, maybe I could have done some damage there. Wait, why is that taking damage? What? Oh, it's because it's overcharged. Whoops, it's a daisy. Yeah, no. Mm, let me think. I'm done. So close. What to do? What to do? Just trying to bait them forward a little bit at least. I need to get that guy off the bloody off the ridge. Yeah. I can't do anything unless he moves. My turn. Come on, what are you doing? All yours. They will move if I just keep baiting, they'll come forward eventually. There we go. Was that so hard? It's actually really annoying to fight this thing. Oh, against plus. Okay, that's why. I mean, I guess. Start doing some damage to it. What to do? What to do? Oh, eesh. Go ahead. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Just keep bashing this bloody thing. Mm. Uh, I'm no, I'm no, I'm gonna lose my guy on the left, but at least I kill the shellwalker. <laughs> Hopefully soon. That machine's done. Swoop! Unnecessary swoop! That one's down. I had to sacrifice some health, but I didn't want to wait yet in a return to make that happen, you know? Okay, now this looks bad, but... But... He is facing me. So that at least I can get some damage in now. now. There we go. Bam! Oh, baby! So much damage. Oh no! Wait, no, maybe I can get in over here. Yeah, there we go! Ooh, victory. Last up. Uh, Claw Strider Stalker. I don't know if we've seen a Stalker before. Oh, is this the third one? Yeah, it is actually. So we get some experience this one. Good luck to us both. What does Stalker do? When attacking from Forest, game plus one combat. Yeah, it's pretty good for this board. Your move. Okay, what's your attack range? It's not more three. So if he, if I go, if he goes there, which he will, he's got me on the high ground. So we should move there. And you stop paying attention to stuff like that. How about I do this? I was setting myself. If I moved away, I planned to move there. Oh, I was yeah. setting myself up for quite a lot of damage. Must be said. What should I do? All right, all right, uh, no need, Mr. Stalker boy. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Going off the I think that's so much attack. Ah! 
Stop! <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. I mean, it looks really good for him. But it's worth noting he sacrificed quite a lot of health to make that happen. Mm, let me think. Oh, eesh. Oh my god, that was really bad. That one's down. And that's how you win a game. Bloody hell! <laughs> I don't think so at this rate. <laughs> that was mad. I got absolutely slaughtered. My turn. Your turn. What should I do? This stalker hits so hard. I'm done. Eh. I want to overcharge. I can't. Ah! Ah! So close! What do you do? I suppose you didn't overcharge and take the kill. Okay, that that's not bad for me. I mean, that was the th <laughs> definitely the thing I was most worried about. Although those snap balls are pretty spooky too. How about I do this? How about you do that? Go ahead. How about you just do it instead of talking about it, alright, love? <laughs> All yours. Snap more's got a huge I really want to snap more. It's like really high on my list. <sighs> what I'm hoping I can do now is just use my stronger machines as in my not Am I dead? No, okay. Surprised. You're a three. That is the kill, so I should focus on that if I can. Oh, interesting. You run away. <laughs> We're getting out of there. It's not going to be enough, though, is it? <gasps> Maybe I sacrifice the scrapper? No. <gasps> oh my god, sorry. <sighs> I considered it, but the problem with sacrificing the scrapper full on gone. is that um, I'm done. Um, my other guys have like really low health. Oh wait, no. Oh no. Oh, I've made a mistake. Oh no, I haven't. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. Should be able to finish this off the next video, hopefully. How about I do this? Next video? <laughs> That's pessimistic. Go ahead. It's, it's gonna get further away than I expected. Come back here. I just need to hit that snap more. No, don't kill me. If he overcharges, he loses though. Yeah, he's, he's, he's lost the game. I'm done. She's lost the game, I should say. You hit armor. Guess luck is on my side. It's very hard for most of these creatures to not hit armor. <laughs> Two skill points and a claw strider piece. Great success, was that? Oh my god. I'm gonna figure out what's wrong with my face. Anyways. Uh, we'll do this first because it's kind of more on the way. Oh, it's past that. Okay. Whee! What a cool little place. Built right into the uh, sort of the tip of the cliff. What signal are you possibly on about, Aloy? <laughs> I unironically have no idea. Hmm, maybe I'll grab the claw strider first. Tall neck. Claw strider, tall neck. I mean, basically the same thing, right? Yo, look at this. What a beauty. That sound must be a tall neck. Must be, Aloy. Monkeys! 
Evil fire robot monkeys! <laughs> Look at this, like a little Ewok village. I assume I have to get up there to get on the tall neck. So let's uh, figure out how. It is a legit little Ewok village. Looks abandoned. Oh. High enough to get me on that tall neck. I can find a way to the top. We must be near the uh, coast as well, because all the um, the algae is back. Algae. Now, if I recall correctly, I need clamber jaws for something. I can't remember what it was. I feel like they feel I'm in combat, but I don't feel like I'm in combat. To get to that platform. Just gotta find a way. Huh. Interesting. I mean, this must be a little Ewok inspired, right? Also, I'm pretty sure this is not a coincidence that this exists. Yeah! Very cool. I really like how they've mixed up the tall necks in this game. Okay. This oh. might be high enough to jump on that tall neck. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't think so. <clears throat> It might be if I was at the top, but from here. Or should I get up there? Oh yeah, maybe actually. Oh. Can I jump onto those? Let's find out. Huh. Looks like this tall neck's missing some parts. God damn it. <laughs> There's no way to climb to the top. I'll have to find a platform that's high enough to reach its head directly. That's what I was gonna do. But maybe I can use the tall neck to, I don't know, get to a new location. I've been there, obviously. What about there? So I don't know how I would have got over here without that. Thanks for the ride, buddy. Now to find higher ground. Okay, so that is what you're meant to do. And that's why she tells you to jump on it. In case people don't think to do that. Not convinced I would have thought to do that. It might have taken me a little bit of time. Lovely shortcut ladders. <clears throat> it did seem a bit weird, though, that, you know, we jumped across a few platforms and then we were at the top. You know, I, I, I knew, or at least I had a strong suspicion that wasn't going to be in it because they've obviously built this whole area around the tall neck design, right? Careful, Aloy, careful. We got this, Aloy, you and me. Champion machine, machine strike players, champion thing climbers. To go hand in hand, as they say. Better watch my step. Oh, no, you'll be fine. Just keep an eye out for monkeys. Looks like I'm not alone. See, we just get each other, you know. Those jaws look like they could crush metal and bone alike. Right, what did I need from the clamber jaw? Nothing needed from the clamber jaw. Shows what I know. Now let's try this out. Yeah, okay. Fair point. I was sure I needed something from the clamber jaw. Maybe not. Maybe it's for like a piece of armor that I ditched or something. I think that's probably it. <laughs> not, not necessarily the best idea. Where was I? Finding higher ground. Okay, I need to get up the top of that tall neck. No, I need to loot the clamper jaws, Aloy. 
keep your priorities in order. Uh, right. Back up we go. Me. There has to be something that can help me climb higher. I bear with me because I'm kind of. leads to another platform. Might be good to check it out. Yeah, like, please. <laughs> please. Just, just, just stop talking <laughs> for two yeah. seconds. I can see the ladder, Aloy. <laughs> it is my only complaint about this game, genuinely, at this point in time. It is, like, the only one I have left is that she does not shut up for a second. I just, I don't know. I think it's quite indicative of modern game design in a way. And I, I, I don't mind it to some extent. I, I like that she talks a lot because it's part. Of, it gives her personality, and you know she's on her own all the time. And I know as someone who's on my own all the time all as right. well. <laughs> I should be able to find a spot to jump onto that. That I talk to myself quite a lot. I think people do if they're on their own all the time. My problem is more that. She seems to just offer help unpushed. And some games will do that. Some games will have a system wherein the character's like, okay, this is, you know, maybe think about this or whatever. Like, hmm, maybe I should do this. But it tends to be after a certain length of time. You know, it tends to be delayed. With Aloy, it feels like she gets somewhere. And she's instantly like, well, guess this is what I do. Before the player even has the chance to figure it out. This was not a particularly egregious example. I know I've talked about this a lot before, so I don't mean to keep going on about it. But it is annoying. There's no enjoyment in solving something when you're told how to solve it at the end of the day. That's why people like puzzles. I reckon I can get onto it from here. Can I get higher than this? We can get up there. Oh, we're going to give it a go. Oh, okay. This was a fun tall neck, though. I like these. I, again, I really like how they've mixed it up so much in this game. Vast improvement over um, Horizon. Good, got the data. The stand of the Sentinels. Give me those skill points. Open map. Aww. It's a beautiful moment. Oh, there must be another one. Interesting. Hunting grounds. Very exciting. Thorn Marsh. Oh, hello. <laughs> fire Claw, Fire Claw, Bear Moth. Clamber Jaw. I was hoping to see that thing I need for my uh, quest. There's a lot of Clamber Jaws. I guess that's the, the coastline over there, right? Interesting. So there's all the city stuff. Let's go do that, I guess. Maybe we'll just explore around a little. We're heading up there, yeah. I wonder why we head west, because this is Demeter, so there must be some incentive eventually to come down here. Oh yeah, there's the coast. <laughs> oh, I'm quite excited about the coast, actually. Hey, thanks, buddy. Yo, this is a very cool area. <laughs> Man, they've done ex... Oh, of course, yeah, it kills everything in the area. I will say this, and I say this a lot, but they've done an exceptional job on the um, environmental design in this game. Every area is, just feels so distinctive. Now we've got this gigantic redwood forest, which makes sense, because redwood forests are typically, actually, I think, have to be near the coast. Now, by the end of the redwood forest, you might be nowhere near the coast, but if you look at, like, California... Is it California I'm thinking of? I think it is. This is a gigantic redwood forest, but it is on the western side. It's near the coastline. If I remember correctly. Glad you made it. The place where my people seek salvage is close, as are the hostile machines. Follow if you will. Lead the way. Come on then, buddy. Oh god, you're gonna walk this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> also, nice thing. I've hunted this forest oh. since I was a boy. What a place. And when the clans were at war, Chikata and I helped hold it from the lowlanders. It was one of the few battles Hikaru ever lost. Didn't you say Chikata was a marshal? Yes. Later, he came to respect Hikaru's dream for a united tribe. 
and volunteered for the very first cool route. I was melancholy when he left the clan to serve the chief. But he came back often, and I was always glad when he did. I just stay here forever. The machines. Of armor on its head. I've heard of your skill. Must be a red eye watcher. So I'll follow your lead. But be careful. Be I'm careful. Claw Strider, Shell Walkers. Bear with me. You stay right there, buddy. I want that precious, precious cargo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's <laughs> detach every single part of its body. More incoming. Looks like the hunt's not over yet. I mean. No! <laughs> Yay! What are you giving me? Oh, hello. I was testing my theory. Ow. Stop hitting me. My theory's the test. What are you weak on something? No, not the, not the red eye. I don't care about the red eye. <laughs> He's just getting his ass whooped in the distance. What are you against buddy? Is it shock? It is indeed. Sure, why not? Ow. <laughs> Stop it. It is to say the least, not the ideal weapon against very quick robots. Jeez. What do you want to call them? Push through. Bye, buddy. Yeah, I do. It wasn't a bad fight. Look out! A scorcher. A scorcher. It's a dramatic sort, this lad. Sounds like he's playing tennis. <laughs> I really want to hit the, the, the horn thing. What, what is the Scorcher, by the way? Oh, okay, buddy. Don't worry about it. The horns are horrible to hit. That's a piece of scrap. You have a mind for battle. I guess shocking gate is the way to get them, really. Scanning no, ear. Yeah, I've never had one of those hunt. before. Good job, everyone. Take five. The elemental thing is something I really only want to focus on if um, I feel like, like my priority is always breaking components, right? Now, sometimes it's easier, you know, if it's acid or something, it's easier to get components if you. Um, Element them first, even with the shock ones. As you saw there, I got the components for that guy. Mainly the scorcher, mainly because I shocked it first, and it made it a lot easier to pick up the um, the uh, the horns. Itchy face. Um, but I value component bro breaking over everything, just because a I don't think I'm going to die in a fight like that anyway, and b it just means more cash, you know, long term. I have quite a lot of resources, and I think it's because I'm so hardcore focused on part breaking and have been for like the entire game. <laughs> uh, I want to see what the Scorcher is. I'm, I'm curious. Also, I've been nearly finished this catalog. I'm missing one, two, three, four, only five machines. What are you, buddy? I think it's just another. Uh, it's a kitty cat. It's very similar to the Ravager and the. Uh,
Oh, yeah, the Ravager. Yeah, they're very, very similar, aren't they? It's just like a Smilodon esque creature. You fought well. Better than any marshal. Better than Shikata, even. You too. You were more than friends. Yes. Whenever he left on a mission, I felt an ache in my chest. I know he's gone forever. Aww. He meant a lot to you. I'm so sorry, Ikota. Don't be. You did a good thing for the village and gave a lonely old soldier some solace. Here, take this. You deserve it. You're young and strong with many victories ahead. But perhaps someday you could come back if you're up for another hunt. I just might be. Poor guy. Right. Where are we off to next? No adventure. Uh, head back north. Grab a campfire along the way. 46 minutes in. So the plan is basically... Obviously we're going to keep exploring this whole area eventually, but the plan right now... What are they over there? I don't know. Where are Sure. We'll, we'll kind of head up through here. We'll go through the rebel outpost. What level is the outpost? Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> it's quite high level, but sure. Level 40, Jesus. Jesus. Have mice. Man, this area's gorgeous. I like that kind of thing, though. Like, it's often a criticism... Okay, is this controversial? I don't think so. It's often a criticism of LGBT... I can't do the whole acronym because I just can't possibly remember it. LGBTQIA+, I believe is the full acronym at this point. And even that doesn't include everyone. That's why there's a plus on the end. Um, ooh. Who has the hot... Where, and even Apex Elemental. Ooh, hello. Apex Red Eye Watcher, you're new. Um... There's sometimes a criticism from dickheads, it must be mentioned, not from good people, but from bad people. There's a criticism that representation for LGBTQIA+, plus, I'm just going to say LGBT for now, that when they have representation, it tends to be... Uh, their, their claim is that it's in your face, right? Machine's tough. Acid's no use here. That, um... It's always very obvious. And people are like, well, it's fine, do what you want, but why does it have to be shoved in my face, blah, blah, blah. That's the kind of, you know, the, 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 the vibe. Are they fighting machines? I just let them do their thing for a while. <laughs> I need to finish this point so I don't sound silly. Do -do 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 -do. Anyways, it says often that chrism is always in your face, blah, blah, blah. And that was a very good example of the opposite, right? That was very, very subtle. No attention was drawn to it. It was just a thing that's part of the world. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be a thing beyond that. Here they come. But the thing that bothers me about it, and the, thing, the reason why it's often in your face, inverted commas, or why attention is drawn to it, is because it, was, it didn't exist for so long. And it has to be normalized, you know what I mean? It's like it wasn't normalized. It wasn't a thing you ever saw. So before it can be something that is just done not as a big, de big deal and it is getting more and more there as we just saw um, it has to be something that's that is made a big deal of that has to be celebrated when it's included because otherwise people with terrible views on it <laughs> you know um, won't grow up basically and maybe they never will that's never here nor that so, I don't mind it either way. I like it when it's celebrated and inverted commas shoved down your throat, which I always found a very interesting choice of words. And uh, I like it when it's done subtly. And the thing is, it's all well and good. I mean, slowly but surely, for uh, gay people and lesbians and blah blah, their representation has got better and better over time. It's still obviously not perfect by any stretch of imagination. As we're seeing with Disney at the moment, and they're curtailing off all this work seemingly that Pixar have been doing and they've been cutting tons of their scenes. Which is... 
just, I mean, if you ever wanted a reason why it needs to be obvious, I mean, it's right there, right? There's still the biggest media conglomerate out there are still actively shutting down all the representations. So, yeah, we need to celebrate when it actually bloody makes it in. But, whilst that's getting better, there's still so much of a fight to go anyway. Like, in terms of, like, trans representation and stuff like that, it's still absolutely abysmal. I think, I've not seen Euphoria, but I believe that recently had a thing where that was quite done quite well and people are quite happy about it but I've never seen the show so I only know based on Twitter memes <laughs> basically I don't know I just find it weird when people who've been you know represented for decades in all forms of media and all TV shows and all films and all games complain about other people finally getting that representation. Let's see if this one's got tags on them too. And you also notice—I don't know why I'm running about this, but I decided it annoys me right now. Come here! I didn't even kill the leader, Aloy. <laughs> they did it. Um, what was I saying? I don't even remember anymore. Uh, what was I going to say? Anybody? If I can override it. Use it. I feel like it might be too late for that. I don't know for sure. I should check. It's always the last hit, I tell you. Oh yeah, right. So the, the other thing that's funny, I guess, inverted commas. It's funny in a sad way, of course. But like people talk about representation or over-representation or these ideals being shoved down your throat and all this kind of jazz. And shoved down your throat is it's honestly the words I see used constantly. Um, that, that comes up quite a lot. But you know, it, it's always a thing when it's LGBTQ representation. You know, all the straight people in the world. It's always like, oh, well, we don't want our kids to be exposed to sexuality so young, blah, 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 blah. But like 99% of shows have some straight romance as part of the show, right? Like, it's just such an accepted thing now that all children see in all shows. It's only seen... It's, it's a comment I saw yesterday. It's only seen as sexuality when it's LG, when it's not straight, basically. If it's straight, it's not sexuality. It's just a normal thing, in the commas. And when it's LGBTQIA+, I hope that's right, Lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer, intersex, asexual, or aero ace, or I can't remember what the last one would be. But when it's that, then suddenly it's representation and it's it's political, right? And well, we must keep poli politics out of our shows and keep politics out of this and stop exposing our children, yada yada yada. But I could always deal with them now. Either way, I'm done. This really annoys me. Such hypocritical bullshit. Anyways, that's my rant for the day. <laughs> I've had people comment on this channel. It was a long time ago, but people have said, oh, well, I don't really like it when you get political and stuff like that. But the other thing, I was just talking about the things that matter to me. And uh, if it happens to be politics that day, then it happens to be politics. You know, people don't mind it when I rant about capitalism. It's probably much more annoying. Well, yeah, I'm just wandering around willy-nilly without a care in the world. I want them to see me, because I don't know where they bloody are. <laughs> Some good loot here. It is a little 40 area, though. I'll beg you, baby. Where are you? Hello? I actually have no idea. <laughs> where are they? Oh, there you are. No, that's why we use Tar. Ah! Have I though? Did you not just see me slaughter your entire encampment? Last arrow. Ah. This outpost won't be causing any more trouble. Hooray! Great success. I also kind of refute the notion that this kind of topic is political. I mean, it is political. 
Well, that's a problem in, in and of itself. Like, how can... How can basic human rights and equality be a political issue? No, it is, because that's just the way of the world, and we don't have that right now. But surely it's so obvious that it should be a thing. Surely it's so it's basic on, like, a human d decency level that everyone should be treated equally regardless of sexual orientation or what they choose to identify as or any of that. Surely that's so painfully obvious that the fact it's political at all is ridiculous. God, this, this, I saw this post pop off the other day. Some guy was ranting about how the problem with it is all that it ruins the nuclear family, inverted commas. People love to go on about the nuclear family. Like somehow having a straight mother and a father it's like the key to a happy child's life. It doesn't matter that 50% of marriages end in divorce for good reason. No, no, no. You, If you're straight, you stay together for the sake of the kid, even if you're miserable, because somehow that's what's good for the kid. I grew up with a dad who was barely ever there and a mom <laughs> who wasn't there either, even though I lived with her. If I'm totally honest, sorry, mom, you're much better now. It's just, you know as well as we did. Um, and you know what? I grew up absolutely fine, and... I was able, in retrospect, to look back on aspects of my childhood and be very, very thankful for some of the lovely things we had and that, you know, I was always fed and warm and had no problems in that regard. And also look back and see, in retrospect, you know, there were some problems. But it didn't mess me up. And, you know, my mum is in a lesbian relationship and has been for a very, very long time. And you know what? She had to strong her relationship with that woman <laughs> was the strongest adult relationship in my entire life by many metrics. So I don't see how her staying with my dad and being unhappy and not being her true self would somehow make me grow up healthier. Such absolute nonsense. Just be who you want to be and love who you want to love. It's no one else's bloody business. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone, which obviously it doesn't, but, you know, as long as whatever you're doing isn't hurting anyone, then who cares? Man, this place is beautiful. And I know none of you have a problem with anything I've said tonight. And if you do, fuck off. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. People are like, well, no, we support your channel, blah, blah. Yeah, but I don't want people like that watching my content. I always find it interesting when people... So like, oh, I didn't know you were political. Oh, I didn't know you held these views, blah, 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 blah. I find it hard to believe anyone could have watched me for a length of time and believe I wouldn't have these views in particular. Not that these views are controversial. I think this is how most people are these days. And I do think, especially with younger generations, there is a um, increased uh, dedication to, let's say, left-winning politics. It tends to... It's interesting, actually. You can actually... It's, it's actually very observable. <laughs> Also, this is beautiful. I just kind of want to watch the claw striders play around in the water. Um, people tend to be liberal when they're young, you know, especially when you're at university, you join liberal groups, and people push for equality, blah, blah, blah. And it's very demonstrable that as people age, they become more right wing. Not everyone, of course. As I've aged, I've become more left wing, if anything. But there's a very clear shift with age of people becoming more right wing. And the reasoning is. When you're young and you've got nothing to lose, equality seems like a good idea. But as soon as you've got, you know, maybe you've got like a good job, maybe you've got a house, a car, you've suddenly got something to lose. The idea of other people getting things suddenly threatens your existence in a way, you know? And uh, people start to fear that equality means losing what they have to give it to someone else who didn't work as hard, inverted commas. And around the age of 30 to 35, there's a very noticeable shift from people from being liberal to right-wing, like, generally speaking. Anyways. <laughs> Not that there aren't people from both sides at all ages, of course, but there is a general uh, shift. And it's the same with, like, income, for example. Richer people tend to lean right-wing, generally speaking. Again, that's not everyone, of course. It's just a general thing. Anyways, as much as I like talking <laughs> about this kind of stuff every now and again... It's not really why we're here. This is really nice, though. Look at them. They're just playing around in the water. I like to think that that's what they're doing. They're just having a nice time. You know, playing around, having fun. It's cute. The area is beautiful. I'm really excited to explore this coastline. 
see what else is out there. Hopefully get some new uh, stuff, but also, hello, <laughs> gigantic building. Um, yeah, so next video, I guess we're going to there. I think this is all like a town. I wonder what this is. Oh yeah, new area. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, we'll probably end up coming back down to the south and exploring as well, but let's do this bit first in the next video. And uh, start our search for Demeter. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much of as always. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's do skill points first. Now, what did I say I wanted? Machine things. We'll grab proficient repair. Kind of want that one as well. Let's grab that. Machine elemental plus. Thank you. Machine damage. Heavy lifter. I am speed. Don't care about mounted archer. I don't care about mounted archer. Okay. We really do have every skill I possibly care about. My next inclination is to fill a tree. Um, I, th I believe there's a, there's a, uh, a, uh, a achievement associated with probably filling out a skill tree. So I'm going to start to fill the warrior tree, which means we need that. And we need two levels in that. I think that's it. Cool. Right, now thank you for joining me. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.